think no one wants to share such a private and horrific experience of rape, and I didn't want to. We can make good changes um, by speaking out, and we cannot ignore this sexual violence anymore. First of all, talking about sex or even, I mean, rape is so taboo, and we have quite a strong stigma in Japan. So I knew it won't be easy to talk about it, but. That was the only way to make some change. One woman, when we had a different meeting at the cafe, mm. she, she came up to me and told, say that I, she's, she's supporting me and she started crying. Mm. And she said that she couldn't do anything so that um, her um, statue of limitation has mm -hmm. passed and it's no crime and but clearly she said it was happening like five years ago but clearly you could have seen it it's 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 still hurting her mm -hmm. it, she's still bleeding and and yet because of our such a limitation because of our, our law makes her believe there it wasn't crime Mm. It wasn't worse to report. It wasn't, you know, and that that really that really made me realize, you know, there 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 is no times you can say no, this is over, or there is a statute of limitation, so you can't do anything. No, so I, I really felt like we needed we need we really need to change the law mm. to to give out different message because. Mm. Right now, our rape law, they require to, for the victim to show, to prove that you've been violated, you've been mm. um, threatened enough, or you fall back enough. Yes. Otherwise, it's not right. There's no um, word of consent. Mm. Mm. There's no idea of consent.